Hey guys, it's Cookie Monster Charms. So today I'm going to show you how to make this polymer clay hamburger. And you may have recognized it from my um, charm update number four, I think. So yeah, it's just a simple little hamburger. So let's get started with the materials. You're going to need hand clay. And I'm using jewelry gold for Scotty. Some brown clay. I'm using chocolate by Sculpey. Some green clay. Yellow clay. Red clay. A needle tool. A toothbrush. Something to roll with. I'm using a marker. A paintbrush. A blade. Chalk pastels. A ball tool and if you want it to be a charm an eye pin or a head pin so let's get started oh yeah can do some clay also. you're gonna take a piece of tan clay and you're gonna roll it into a log and then you're gonna take your blade and you're gonna cut one smaller section and <coughs> one bigger section and these are gonna be your two buttons so you're going to roll both of those pieces into two balls and you're going to take the larger one and you're going to start taking the edges and pulling them down a little bit. You're going to push down on it a little bit. and you're going to make a top bun shape. This is what my top bun looks like and I made the pieces a little smaller so we're kind of big. You're going to take your smaller ball and you're just going to simply flatten it out a little. So now we're going to shade and texture. Now we're going to texture our buns with our toothbrush. So you're just simply going to push in all around the side and top of the bun. And do the same thing on the bottom bun. Do the side and the top and the bottom. Now we're gonna shade using our chalk pastels. So you're gonna take some yellow, orange, tan, and a little reddish brown, and you're going to brush them onto your textured buns. So, yeah. So once you shade the buns, they should look something like this. And you don't have to do the bottom of this one because you're not gonna see it. So, Next, you're going to take a piece of brown for the hamburger patty, and you're going to roll it into a ball, and you're just going to flatten it out. You want to make sure that it's going to fit on your bottom bun. So then you're just going to place it on the, um, the bottom bun, just like this. And to texture the patty, we're going to use the ball tool. So you just make little indent the ball tool all around and go up on the top a little and just texture it all the way around. After you texture you're going we're going to make the cheese now. So you're gonna take some of your yellow clay and you're going to roll it out with your tool. Then you're gonna take your blade and you're gonna cut out a square of cheese just cut around to get a square that will fit over your hamburger patty so then you're going to place the piece of cheese on top of the patty and you want to center it on there so when you bend the corners over it will be equal Next, with some flattened green clay, we're going to make the lettuce by smashing it with the bowl tool. Once you're done beating your lettuce, you're going to take your needle tool and you're going to pull some of the little chunks off and you're going to 
like place them on the burger like that. So pull off these little chunks and put them on. And have some of them peek over the edges so you can see it when the burger is done. So this is what your lettuce should look like. Then you're going to take some little balls of red clay and flatten them out and place them on top, peeking over the edge a little, and put about four on there, or as many as you can fit. Your tomatoes should look like that, and then when you look at it from the side, you should be able to see them. Then you're going to take your top bun, and you're going to place it on the top, and you're going to squish down like that. Next, you're going to roll out a really thin snake of translucent clay. And you're going to chop off little pieces and make little balls. And then stick them on top of the bun to make sesame seeds. This just place the sesame seeds on top of the burger. You just add the desired amount of sesame seeds. You're going to add in your eye pin or head pin. And then you're just going to bake your charm at 275 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes or according to package directions. Thank you for watching this polymer clay hamburger tutorial. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next tutorial or charm update. <laughs> so thanks again for watching. Bye.